Come along, children. Now we're going to have a little music, like old times. Hi, Lewis Cahill from Ginkga Gasoline. I'm here at IFTD 2017, and I'm in the Orvis booth with Tom Rosenbauer. Tom, how are you? Good, Lewis. How are you? Good. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Well, you guys have got a big year. We do. We've got some exciting, probably more exciting new product year than we've had in a long time. I awesome. Think. Anyway. Yeah. Very cool to hear. Yeah. Well, what's this sharp stuff your buddy here is wearing? Well, his name is Lewis. <laughs> right. Here we go. Let's see. That's yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Nah, yeah. not quite. Not quite. He and, can't pull it off. Anyway, um, <laughs> Lewis is modeling the latest in ultralight weight and gear. <laughs> nice. So um, start with the, from the top down, uh, ultralight weighting jacket, two layer, uh, very durable, seam sealed, obviously waterproof, breathable yeah. jacket, um, has room for tacky fly boxes nice. uh, in the front. And waterproof zipper, actually I can't say waterproof, you know, technically, mm -hmm. say water resistant, but it is, you're not going to get wet. Yeah, you know? it's for rain, not for swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, right. not for immersion. Um, you know, little, little features like these to put your zingers on, mm -hmm. has a three-way adjustable hood, so regardless of what kind of hat you wear, or if you don't wear a hat, you're going to have a brim that's going to cover your, yeah, nice. your glasses or your sunglasses. Nice and slick on the front, nothing yeah, for line to catch Yeah, it on. has a DWR coating, but it yeah. packs down to the point where you can put it in the back of a fishing vest or in your sling bag or, or whatever. Right, and that's the key on this stuff, right? It's all for, for travel yeah. and for taking up as little space and as little weight as possible. Yeah, I mean, these days, you know, the 50-pound limit comes quickly to a fisherman. Man, you, doesn't you that? Holy smokes. Gear. Um, and um, you know, lightweight is, is important. Plus, it's more comfortable. Yeah. You know? The lighter it is, the more comfortable it's going to be right. on the water. Well, this is a nice looking jacket. Yep. And, and you can see all the seams on the inside tape, just like waders. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I've got a couple of more little pockets in here. Yep. Very cool. Yep. And so, this also has waders that go with it. Right. Not necessarily has to go with it, yeah, but it sure. can be a system. Yep. And these are the these are ultralight waders. Um, it's a very lightweight fabric. It's actually the fabric that we've used in our sonic waders for a long time. Mm -hmm. The outer fabric is the same. We've really been happy with that fabric. It's comfortable. It's light. Durable. Doesn't make a lot of noise. It's yeah. not stiff. Um, we have replaced the laminate with a new laminate yeah. that's about twice as breathable. Oh, nice. Old laminate. Yeah, so, yeah. so same waterproofness, uh, better breathability. Mm -hmm. And one of the most important things is that, is that we design these waders, although they're light, we want them to hold up. They're not, you know, they're not disposable, yeah, right. and they're not, yeah. they're not for a couple seasons. We want them to hold up. So um, in the high-stress areas, in the crotch and in the inseam and in the knee, uh, most waders, all waders are made, they're stitched, and then there's a piece of waterproof tape. Right over that. What we did in those high stress areas is we added a second tape that's a seam reinforcement tape, which takes the, uh, you know, the industry average for uh, seam strength is about 44 pounds. But so we, 44 we, pounds to separate 44 that 44 pounds seam. to destroy the seam. Yeah, yeah we measure that to, to stop the waterproofness. Yeah. We, we measure all these seams, both ours and competitors. And um, this, the seams that are reinforced go to 77 pounds. Wow. So it's a real... That's almost you know, double. Yeah, and, yeah, and it, yeah. it's a place where, you know, if waders are going to blow up, they're going to blow up in either the knees or the crotch. Yeah, you're stepping over a log or yeah. something. Or, yeah. 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 yeah, So, um, So that's going to be a big improvement. Very nice. Um, you know, they look nice. This is one of the most exciting features. These are convertible waders. Nice. So they, they can be waste waders yep. or... Um, chest waders, but these Fidlock magnetic closures are one-handed operation. All you have to do is go like that, Very cool. and they're in place, and they're going to stay there. So, you know, to remove them, pull them down, and then just slide them up, and they nice. snap into place. Cool. In the morning, so, warms up in the afternoon, you can shed some of that down. Or yep. For your tailwater anglers where the water's cold and yep. you want waders, but it's mm -hmm. a warm day, that's nice. Yeah. Anyway, Super you, nice. when you want to cross a deep spot, then you just pull them back up and go across. <laughs> You're right, right on. So um, the other, and one of the other things is that um, the gravel guards are mm -hmm. self-fabric. So this is the same fabric all the way down to the gravel guard. Right. There's, There's no like no seam. seam there. Yeah. There's no seam there. No area for you know for pulling out or anything. Yep. Uh, makes them. It, 
makes them a little lighter without that seam. They're just glued in place here. Uh -huh. So it's a, you know, it's a self-fabric gravel guard. Makes them look a little slimmer. Yeah. Um, you know, we also did did slim the legs down on our fit a little bit. We changed the fit uh, oh, nice. quite a bit. We slim slim the legs down. Some of our some of our other waders were a little too blossomy yeah, in the yeah, water, yeah. if that's the right word. But yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, you want to cut down on water resistance. You want to be more comfortable. A little slimmer leg. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's that's a nice issue. And they're sharp looking waders. Yeah, well, we have a real designer on our staff. <laughs> right on, upgrade. Yeah, Jim Kershaw, a real designer. Oh, very cool. Well, he's done a great Jim job. They're designed nice these, you know, these two to all look nice together, along with the new ultralight boot. It matches. Yeah. And that <laughs> I, I forgot what this weighs, but it's you know it's light. Oh wow, that is. Yeah. Yeah, remarkably light. Yeah. Very cool. Looks pretty durable too. It is. It is durable. Um, you know, we've reduced weight by using this Clarino fabric, mm -hmm. um, and also uh, most wading shoes have a rubber strip here, which adds some weight. Right. What we did was it's a it's a coating, it's a spray-on coating like a bed liner. Oh no way! Yeah, like a bed liner in a truck. Oh, that's um, smart. And um, they have this they have that same sole that we've been using yep. for years, yep. which is a which is a hydrometer, harder rubber on the outside for mm -hmm. durability, and then sticky rubber nice. underfoot. Obviously they can be studded right. as well. Sure. Um, and then I've been wearing these boots for about a year now and they're so uh -huh. comfortable. Um, they're padded, the generously padded oh, yeah. in the ankle yep. and in the tongue with a fairly thick foam. It feels so, more like a like a cross between an ultralight hiking boot or a, Yeah, you know, it is. It's a, more hiking boot design. Yeah, um, right. And this material into, looks like it would dry really quickly. It does dry very, very quickly. Yeah, that's yeah. a big thing for me when you're flying yeah, when and you're you, flying. you you're going from the river to the airport and I always take my boots and time on the roof of the car on the mm -hmm. way to the airport to yeah. try to dry them oh, off. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, it works. No, that. it works, yeah. But you know, then you're always you know, you're right at that fifty pound limit going out and then yeah. you put wet boots in the bag yeah. and you're over. Have you ever forgotten them on the top of your truck? Never no. van? Not no. yet. No. <laughs> and I've never lost a pair. Cool. So there you go. Um, yeah, and you know, and for the invasive species issue too, the quicker right. they dry, the quicker you're sure that they're yeah. safe to take it to in the watershed. Well, this is a really cool system, and for anglers that are traveling, fishing this summertime, I think it makes a lot of sense. Yep. Very cool. Well, thanks for taking the time, Tom. Thank you. Great stuff, as always. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Gink and Gasoline, and stay tuned for more from IFTD 2017.